Hi, I'm Lillian. Welcome back to my channel, Ink and Pages. Today is my birthday. Um, so I thought it would be fun to do a like birthday bookshelf scavenger hunt. Um, so I've asked my sister to come up with 13 prompts slash challenges for me to find on my shelves. The example I gave her when I asked her to do this was um, like, your birthday makes you a Leo. So find a book with a lion on the cover or a lion in the story. So I don't know what she's done. I've been very good and not looked at the prompts ahead of time. Um, so we're just gonna see how well I know my bookshelves. Okay, so prompt number one is, because we are sisters, find a book with sisters on the cover. God, um, I can't think of a single book with sisters on the cover. Uh, I have very few books with people. Oh, Time for on Symmetry. There we go. So it's got twin sisters on the cover. Okay, the next one is, your name has 14 letters in it. So find a book with a title that's 14 letters long. Oh my God, okay, this involves counting. Uh, okay. That's gonna be too long. Uh, three, almost 10 letters. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, that's close. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14! Smashed it! We have got the Star of Kazan. Okay, number three. As you are a Leo, find a book with a lion in the title or story. Okay, I'm gonna actually use this one because I actually had a book with a lion the whole time. And it's Lion Boy, which has uh, lions in the story, in the title, and on the cover. Next one is, you love a good mystery, so find a book with no blurb on the cover or back. Ooh, okay. Uh, I feel like that's gonna have to be like a hardback, because they quite often, okay, this has like an extract of like the prologue on, that's not exactly a blurb. So I think I might count that one. Okay, this one's better. This one is the best book to do, and it literally just has like quotes on the back. So that is my pick for this one. Number five is, as a German student, I'm sure you have plenty to choose from, so pick me a German book with a long title. I actually don't have that many books in German except for the Harry Potter series, so I might pick the longest one from there. Okay, I'm gonna go with the second book in Harry Potter, which is Harry Potter und die Kammer des Schreckens, which I think actually means like the chamber of horrors and terrors more than it means chamber of secrets but I'm going with this one. Number six, you have a strange passion for chickens, so find a book with a feather in or on it. Long story. Feather, feather. Uh, can't be any. I guess if, it, if I have one with like a bird on, that would count because birds have feathers. This looks like it has a bird on. Okay, that's some stylized feathers. That could be my backup. I feel like some David Mitchell books have feathers on. Well, that's got another bird on. Okay, that's another backup. Maybe we will just have to pick one that has a bird on it. Oh, what are the monstrous? Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna go with this one. It's the same as the others in that it has a bird on it, but it's the nicest bird. It has feathers on, and Monstrous is a great graphic novel series. You should all read it. Okay, prompt number seven. As a cover snob, please find me a book with an ugly movie cover. How many movie covers? Because I also think they're very ugly. Oh God. I think she might just have to accept my ugliest book cover because I don't really have any with like photos on. Actually, I'm thinking of touch. I know that, Verity, I know you hate this cover because you think it's really ugly, so that might be my answer. Because I literally don't think I have a single movie cover, unless, unless we're going with this Doctor Who book, which has a photo on the front. Would you accept this? Would you accept one of these? I'm gonna have them as both my answer, so hopefully you'll be pleased with at least one of them. Challenge eight. As you always read whilst you have your food, find a book with a big stain on it. I have so many books with stains on them, like quite a lot of them are Nutella from when I would have pancakes as a kid. So let's have a look. I might have to check like childhood favourites. Okay, that's not got a stain on, but it's water damaged. Childhood favourites. That's definitely got a stain on. 
that looks like tea. Let's do that. So this is Pirates and it has a like brown stain on the top. I don't know what that is. Okay, over halfway, number nine. Books are the best gift, so find a book with someone else's name written in it, or your own if you can't. I am gonna go with a book. I'm gonna expose you a bit here, if I can get it out. Because I'm pretty sure this copy of The Name of the Wind has your name in it, Verity. That's right, because this was a present someone got for you. Haha, <laughs> thought you'd beat me with that one. You were wrong. Okay, next one. Find a book with religious iconography. Hmm. Well, I can think of a couple books that have like religious themes I didn't realize as a child. Okay, not that one. Um, one I mean, that's got like a church on. That might work. Maybe on my mythology and folklore shelf, I've got some like Norse myths that will have. Okay, I'm actually gonna go with this book of Egyptian myths because it has like this eye on and that's like, surely I, I think it's like an ancient Egyptian religious symbol. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay, number 11. Birthday prompt is fairly self-explanatory. So find a book published in your birth year. Hmm. Okay, okay, that's all right. Maybe Game of Thrones, actually. When was Game of Thrones published? Oh, damn. Okay, it was first published in 1996 in the UK. So close, and yet so far. Ah, I was right. Northern Lights was published in 1995. Smashed it. Okay, penultimate one. Being born and bred into the South, please find a book to do with South London. Okay, Claire North, one of my favourite authors, really disappointed me with her last couple of books. One of them was The End of the Day, and that was literally set like so close to my area. She would reference bus routes on that I knew really well. Unfortunately, because I didn't like that book, I never finished it and I gave it away. So I'm gonna have to find something else. Okay, to do with South London. Ah, oh, annoyingly, in Her Fearful Symmetry, which was the first book I picked, that's about American twins who moved to the UK, who moved to London. They live in North London because people think North London is the only London that exists, which is very rude. Hmm, I might pick Mortal Engines because on a technicality it's set in a futuristic, mildly dystopian London that's consisted of levels like a wedding cake, so South London in that sense would be like the bottom tier of London. So maybe that's literally how I'm going to have to go through these one by one. Uh... Okay, I found my answer. I'm gonna go with Red Thread, which is mostly about like mazes and labyrinths, but there is a section with the subtitle Peckham, because I got very excited when I saw it. Page 100. Here we go. Troy Town, Peckham. That's in South London. This is my answer. Okay, and the last one is present. Find a book that was a gift. Okay, so I think it's recently I haven't gotten books as presents for like birthdays and Christmases. I've got like book vouchers. So, hmm. Actually, I did get this one for Christmas last year. So red, white, and royal blue, I got for Christmas in 2020. Boom, smashed it. 13 books, got them all. So these books are all my answers. I mean, there's more than 13 here because I think for a couple I picked multiple books to try and increase my odds of winning. Um, but yes, very exciting. Well done. That was so incredibly fun. Verity, I'm definitely gonna ask you to like make me a Christmas themed one of this to do later on in the year. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.